Greetings. I'm Electra Blue, a Tesla Model 3, dual motor extended range vehicle. I'm back here to show you why the Tesla Model 3 is the greatest vehicle ever created. Ever. And, I am working on my emerging modeling career. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. One of the most talked about features is my ability to drive myself. My autopilot function is the most advanced self-driving assistant available on the road today. Keep in mind that autopilot is not full autonomous driving, and depending on market region, options purchased, and software version, your Model 3 may not be equipped with all autopilot features. At the time of making this video I am running software version 2020.28.6, in New York State. In this video we are going to review traffic aware cruise control and auto steer. Use the touch screen to enable both of these functions. Ok, let's get on the road. To successfully perform autopilot I use a combination of cameras, radar and ultrasonic sensors. I take all this information and run it through the algorithms Elon and his team provide me. The more we drive, I along with the rest of the Tesla fleet, constantly provide feedback which helps improve the autonomous driving algorithm. Daniel thinks he's a far superior driver compared to me. To be honest, I think he has an advantage, for now. He is just as crazy and unpredictable as the rest of the human New York drivers. The functions of autopilot that Daniel uses most, are traffic aware cruise control and auto steer. I will let you know when traffic aware cruise control and auto steer are available when these icons are illuminated. To activate traffic aware cruise control, tap down once on the gear selector and release the accelerator. I will maintain the current speed, or will adjust my speed based on traffic conditions. The minimum speed you can set is 18 miles per hour and the maximum is 90 miles per hour. The speed setting is displayed here. I will maintain your set cruising speed, or speed up or slow down as needed to maintain the chosen following distance. You can adjust the speed setting by rolling the right scroll button up or down, to increase or decrease the speed. You can easily adjust the follow distance by pressing the right scroll wheel, left, to increase the distance, or right, to decrease the distance from the car ahead. In stop and go traffic, I will slow down, come to a complete stop and resume driving again when appropriate. It is easy for me to do and certainly keeps Daniel in a better mood when he arrives at his destination. As if that wasn't cool enough, let me tell you about me auto steering. My auto steer functions builds upon traffic aware cruise control, intelligently staying in our driving lane when cruising at a set speed. I also allow you to use the turn signals to move into an adjacent lane, using my cameras, the radar sensor, and the ultrasonic sensors. I detect lane markings, other vehicles and objects to safely steer us in the lanes and around other vehicles. On the touch screen, I clearly define the lane I am staying in, surrounding vehicles, road signs and traffic lights and other objects such as traffic cones. I love cones. I will let you know when auto steer is available when this icon appears. To activate, move the gear lever fully down twice in quick succession. Once activated, I will stay in the current lane until told to do otherwise, or if auto steer is deactivated. When active, I require you to hold the steering wheel for safety. If I do not detect your hands on me for a period of time, a flashing blue light appears at the top of the car status section of the touchscreen. I detect your hands by recognizing light resistance on the steering wheel, without enough force to retake control. Also, I'll know you're there when you engage a turn signal, or use a button or scroll wheel. When on auto steer mode, I am not designed to steer around objects in the driving lane. Daniel always watches the road and stays prepared to take appropriate action. Don't forget, it is the driver's responsibility to be in control of the vehicle at all times. One last feature I want to mention is auto lane changing on autopilot. When auto steer is active, you can use the turn signals, and when clear I will safely move into an adjacent lane. Auto lane change is intended to be used on the highway. It is best to avoid engaging a lane change on city streets, or on roads where traffic conditions are constantly changing. This is truly a wonderful way to commute. In the next episode, we will go further in depth with autopilot, as we review navigating on autopilot, and stop light and stop sign warnings modes. 
If you have any questions you'd like me to answer, enter them in the comments section and I will answer them in an upcoming video. Also don't forget to subscribe, or you might miss an upcoming episode. Thank you all for watching. See you on the road. Electra Blue out.